All right, so you guys have chosen to do uh, motion tracking, meaning that you you have a clip that you have a camera shake right here because you don't have steady hands, and you want to put a pony in it, but yet the pony doesn't move along with the camera, so it doesn't make it look quite as realistic as you thought it would be. So what we're going to do is we're going to motion track, but before we do, we're going to go right here to the empty space. We're going to right click, you're going to go to new, you're going to hit solid. I'll explain why later. Um, you can name this solid of, uh, well, uh, motion track data. Just go ahead and just leave it as it is. You could change the width and height depending on what you want to render it and now whatever. I'll just leave everything there by default. Hit OK. And you'll have this back black screen here. Now go ahead and just take the black screen out by hitting the I right here. We don't need that right now, so we'll just leave it like that. OK. Now we're going to select our movie here. Now we're going to go to Window. We're going to go check the check mark tracker right here. Now a box should pop up on the lower right hand corner that has tracker tab. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the track motion right here. Now what will happen is it'll, it'll make a uh, little target here appear that says track point one. We want to track the position and the rotation. So we're going to check the tick box that says rotation. That way there will be two pointers in your video here. Now what we're going to do is all this motion track data we want it to send in that uh, solid that we, we just made. So we're going to hit edit target. We're going to go to uh, motion track data or whatever you name your solid. You're going to hit OK. And from there, you can leave everything else alone. This is the part that's going to get tricky now, or it will take a little while. You have to find two good points here in your video. I purposely laid a water bottle that I found on the floor right here, and I'm going to use this little bench circle right here. I mean, you could try using like the little stain right here at the sidewalk. You could try using a, uh, a patch of grass. Um, motion tracking tries its best to uh, track a point. For example, when I click and drag the track point 2, it drags the whole box with it. So I wanted to track this little uh, lid on the water bottle here. That way it will move when the camera moves. Now i got to find another one. So I'm going to click on the track point 1, go over here, and I'm going to find this bench here that has a little mini tar circle here. It looks like a target. I'm going to go ahead and click the corner and shorten this up just a tad bit to fit the circle. I'll leave the bigger box just as it is right here. Now for the water bottle, uh, come on, click on it. There we go. Water bottle, uh, I'll just, it's fine as it is. I don't need to shrink it up. I'll just shrink the outer box just a tad bit, just like that. The point of doing this is you got to find two points. That way when you hit a uh, uh, track data, it'll, tr it'll try its best to uh to stay on that position that you uh made it you, that you assigned it to be. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and check the data. Go to the lower right-hand corner, right beside analyze, you're going to hit the right arrow that says analyze forward. Make sure you're uh your little cursor is at the beginning of the uh, video timeline before you do it. Alright, so we're going to go back to this little box. We're going to go hit Analyze Forward. Now you can see it's trying its best every time the camera moves to stay on that position that you assign it to be. Now, it looks like it's going smoothly. There's no errors. Alright, it's almost done and it's done. Okay. So what we have is uh, tracking data. It tries its best to stay on that position without moving. Okay, now since we're done with the tracking data and you're comfortable with what you see, go ahead and go to the lower right hand corner and hit apply. You're going to hit apply dimension to both X and Y and you're going to hit OK. Now it'll take you back to your regular screen with your regular video and it's going to already have your, your drop down arrow defaulted to show all this weird keyframes here. Go ahead and just click the arrow right here to hide all that uh, data. And now 
we're going to do is we're going to try to match the pony with the movement of the camera. So we already assigned the data to the solid. All we're going to do is we're going to go to our green screen. We're going to go to the drop down arrow beside parent. We're going to hit our tr motion track data. Now the motion track data is in our pony. And we when we render out, out our clip, it will move right with the video just like that so smoothly so that's pretty much it